Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to go over some of the, the new confirmed information uh, from Kilowatt's uh, experience with the 4680 battery and kind of how it compares to what we've experienced and kind of look at some of the stuff um, because now we have a larger data sample uh, to really confirm and narrow down on the real capabilities of the 4680 Model Y. Okay, number one on the list is going to be the charge speed. So remember three weeks ago on June 8th, whenever we got the vehicle, we did our test and we did from 9% to 97% and it took us 50 minutes. Uh, just yesterday, Kilowatt just confirmed with his 4680 Model Y that he went from 0% to 97% in 52 minutes. So again, it's good to have more data out there and the more people that are out there that are putting this information out there, we're getting a better look at the charge curve. Uh, but very similar to what we saw, um, starts off really high and then it kind of tapers down. Uh, and I think we both have the same speculations that this is going to improve, you know, over time. So as there's more data out there and as there's more miles and miles driven with the vehicles, um, then the software engineers with Tesla can slowly start unleashing some of the uh, capabilities. So just like every other battery in the past with Tesla, um, over the course of like a five year, if you think the batteries have a five year life life run, right? They slowly improve it over time. All right, and number two on the list is going to be that you can still drive with 0%. Um, so we had a, a test um, a couple weeks ago where we basically got the vehicle down to 0% um, and we still had the ability to drive. So as confirmed with their test, same thing, you can drive at 0%. So good to see that confirmed somewhere else too. And coming at number three on the list is that the ability to regen uh, with regenerative braking at 100% battery. Um, so this is really interesting. So this came from a comment originally. So that back whenever I first got the vehicle on June 8th, someone left a comment basically asking me, hey, charge to 100% and see if the battery can still regen because if it can regen, there's probably extra capacity in there. And I was like, hey, that's a great comment. And I really do appreciate all the comments. So we did the test. Um, and we could regen at 100%. And we've done that a couple different times. Um, so with our Model Y, we could regen 100%, 4680 Model Y. Um, and same thing with the Kilowatts page and their experiments, he could also regen at 100%. So again, the more data samples that we have out there, uh, just the more it's confirmed some of these capabilities. So it's so pretty cool. Um, glad to see that was confirmed as well. Number four on the list is gonna be the confirmed real world range. Um, so again, we've driven like our real world, you know, with the AC blasting during the peak of the, of the sun, we basically did like a 200 miles or so. Um, but we've also done some other tests and we've been saying that we think the real world going, you know, 85 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour is going to be somewhere around, you know, 220 miles range. Um, kilowatt, they just did their test yesterday and they were able to squeak out 236 miles. Um, but for their tests, they were actually going, and I'll put up the, the tweet, they were going, I think, anywhere from between 70 to 73, and it was later in the day, so a little bit cooler weather. Um, but again, you can kind of confirm to see like, hey, if you're having you know better optimal conditions, 236 is realistic, um, which is great to see, right? Um, versus if you're in some like kind of crappy conditions with the car packed down with the family and you're running the AC, uh, you know, you're gonna be getting closer to like 210-ish, right? So again, confirming the range um, and the more data samples that we have out there, the better. So we can really get some good data so people can make some informed decisions about, you know, what's the best Model Y for themselves. And number five on the list is gonna be the confirmed battery capacity. So in the same uh, tweet where they showed uh, that they went to 236 miles between charges and they got the battery down to zero, uh, you'll see that the used energy was 68 kilowatt hours. Um, and that's basically what we've been saying about the true size of the battery. Um, so there's been speculation about what the true size or the usable size is. Um, but again, we've been saying, I think like 67.5, that's the same thing the Tessie app confirmed, but it was cool to kind of see that another person with a 4680 Model Y got a very similar experience with using uh, 68 kilowatt hours whenever they went from 100 to zero. So great to see that. 
All right, once again, this was just uh, some confirmations. So again, um, the more it's only been three weeks with the 4680 Model Y, and there's more and more delivering across the country, and it's great to see that. Um, and the more that we can share as a community and get the data out there, uh, the better that we can kind of make some good decisions. So I'm glad to see uh, a great, um, you know, electric blogger like uh, that one to, to be putting that information out there. Looks like they're having a blast on their road trip and it's really cool to kind of see just the real capabilities of this uh, Texas built 4680 Model Y. Um, we have an upcoming trip in a couple of weeks to Florida where we'll be driving out there. So we'll definitely be blogging that to get some more, more information out there. Again, just so that people can make the best decisions for themselves. Uh, once again, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. If you have any ideas of, for other videos, please leave those below too. I'd love to get those ideas. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the sub button. Thanks a lot and have a great day.